Now this question we've got to solve the simultaneous equation 3x plus 4y equals 38 with 5x minus 4y equals 10. Now in this example I picked this example purely to make the y terms virtually the same. They both got four y's in them but you'll notice they're not exactly the same purely because they don't have the same sign. One has got a plus and one's got a minus. Now if they had both said plus 4y then I could eliminate the y terms by subtracting or even if they said both of them had minuses in minus 4y minus 4y I could still eliminate the y terms by subtraction. But when they have different terms, the only way that you can eliminate these and get no y is by adding the two equations. So I'll just show you that. Let's just say we have 1 and 2, remember, always number your equations. When we add the two equations, okay, when we look at the y terms, we've got plus 4y here. And if we were to add the next y term here which is minus 4y you'll see that we have plus 4y and then the plus and the minus here are replaced with a negative because they're different signs and then we have the 4y on the end and plus 4y minus 4y is no y or just simply zero so the y terms get eliminated if we add the two equations so that's what we're going to do. We're going to add the two equations, 1, add 2. So when it comes to adding the x terms together, we have 3x plus 5x, which is going to be 8x. And that's going to equal, because we know the y terms get eliminated, as we saw over here, we just have 38 plus 10, which is 48. So if I divide both sides by 8, we have 8x divided by 8 is x, and 48 divided by 8 is 6, so x equals 6. Now I can substitute, let's just write this, sub for short, substitute x equals 6 into any one of these two equations. I'm going to substitute in number 1 purely because I prefer to work with pluses rather than with negative signs. But it doesn't matter which one you do. So let's say sub x equals 6 then into equation number 1. So if I substitute x equals 6 into 1, we have 3 times 6. So therefore 3 times 6 plus the 4y equals 38. Simplifying this, we find that 3 sixes are 18 plus the 4y equals 38. Subtract 18 from both sides and then we have 4y equals 20 and dividing both sides by 4 leaves me with y equals 20 divided by 4 which is 5. So we therefore have x equals 6 and y equals 5. And you can check again that that works in the second equation. 5 times the x value of 6, 6 fives are 30. And 4 times the y value of 5, 4 fives are 20. So 30 take away 20 is 10. So indeed this is the solution to the simultaneous equation here.